What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marco Delia and I made an interview with the Mr. World himself, Jack Hasselwood. Uh, if you don't know the story, I've been to Mr. World uh, in Manila, the competition of all the most beautiful models in the world. No, it's not true. <laughs> but uh, they were incredible guys and we had such a great time for 15 days. We were in the Philippines and it was incredible. So I kept in touch with a lot of guys from there, from every single country of the world. And the guy that won the competition, uh, Jack, it was from England. We are close because we are Europeans and we had actually a great friendship. So uh, all the guys were interested in the situation right now for the quarantine and what happens. Uh, and we had like a normal conversation. So we had an interview on Zoom a couple of days ago and I wanted to share the interview with you. Uh, he shared this uh, on his channel and on his IGTV. So if you want to check him out, I'll leave the link down in the description of his social media. But now I'll leave you with the short interview. Thanks for watching. The dot here that is said that, is to, that you're recording, that's cool. Marco D'Elia, what is it like in Italy at the moment, man? Uh, right now, uh, the, like we are not allowed to do anything. Basically, if you go outside, uh, people will even curse at you, or police will stop you, like right here. Even if you go outside for just a little walk. Right now, you just can go outside if you have a permission by the government, and you can go 100 meters around your home or to buy groceries. That's the only thing you can do. So you're secluded to that one area. Yeah, just your area in which you live in. In the UK, we can't go out unless it's absolutely essential grocery buying or um, right. I think the, the police can even fine you. So yeah, it's kind of a sticky situation at the moment, but I'm glad to, um, glad to catch up with you, mate. Can you tell us a little bit, for the viewers, can you give them an introduction to Marco? Yeah, of course, I'll make my YouTube intro. How's it going, guys? <laughs> my name is Marco. No, like, uh, if you don't know me, my name is Marco Deli. I'm a content creator and model here in Italy. I live near Milan. And what I do in my life, I study foreign languages and communication sciences, and I've been representing Mr. Uh, Italy in the Mr. War competition. So I'm Mr. War Italy for these years. And what I do, I work as a model, and I produce content for YouTube and other 10 different platforms, creating this personal brand around my name. Wow. And how long have you been doing that, Marco? I mean, I started modeling, I think, three years ago, four years ago, and I started creating professionally, professionally <laughs> content for my social media. I think two years ago, two years ago, I started the, the blog. And after the blog, after six months, I started a YouTube channel. So in the blog, I posted just the written versions of the script that I use on my channel, on my YouTube videos. Awesome, and um, you were one of the few guys who creates a lot of content at Mr. World, so you, you knew what you were doing. I guess like you knew um, all the social media side of you know, trying to create <laughs> awareness and trying to get people to vote for you. I know that yeah, a lot I mean, of people were asking you for advice on growing their social media and creating a social campaign to get votes for the competition. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can see the social media in a different way. I prefer to see social media as a way to share something that you want to share instead of just the marketing and the way to gain, you know, money or followers. I prefer to see, I try to post as much as possible on every social media possible so that I uh, share the message that I want to share, which in my case, I love personal growth. I love fragrances that you can see here. These are all my fragrances. I love beauty care for men and I love modeling. So I try to share those things with people that are trying to get into the field or that are like, you know, want to be Mr. Wars like us. So uh, would you say you're a content creator? And your specialism is um, like business leadership and obviously fragrances and men's men's cosmetics. Yeah, I don't know why. Like I, I try to talk about all the things that I'm into. Like yeah. when I started the channel, when I started the blog, it was like, okay, now I need to pick a niche and talk about a specific topic. 
And then I thought, you know what? I am the topic. Like people, if they want to follow something and they want to follow me, they know that I'm Italian and I and I can speak English. So why speak in just Italian? I should speak both languages. Okay. Um, I love beauty care and I love modeling. So why picking just one topic where I can pick both? And so on, I try to pick all the topics that I'm interested in. So if I want to talk about a book that actually changed my life, I'm going to talk about the book. But if I want to talk about a fragrance that really gives me compliment and I want to share with other people that follow me, why not? Okay, that's really interesting. And what makes you really, what drives you to do that? What would you say is the the kind of end result or the end goal of you um, creating content around around you know fragrances and men's cosmetics and business because i see that you've got a uh the steve jobs uh cushion in the background there <laughs> this one here <laughs> yeah i like that uh, i love apple products like right now i'm literally recording with an iphone <laughs> so are you sponsored I, I by apple, apple? Is this, is, this a, is this a plug? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. I mean, I love the uh, the philosophy around that. No, basically, my goal. I actually don't have a goal. I I'm trying to document everything that I'm doing. So while I'm trying to be successful in the modeling industry, in the yeah. entertainment uh, industry, like going to Los Angeles, as I've been like a couple. Now, one month ago, I've been to Los Angeles trying to model and trying to start an acting, yes. acting career. While I'm trying to be successful in those industries, I try to document everything that I can uh, so that one day, uh, once I'll be maybe more successful than I am right now, right now I'm just 23, uh, people can see the footage uh, where I was young and nobody liked them. So they can start following all the tips and all the things that I was doing while I was nobody. So tell us about LA. What did you do in LA? I mean, LA is great. LA is the center center of entertainment. Like, if you want to go and have a modeling career or something in TV or realities, podcasts, whatever, even social media, yeah, LA is the place. And you went with Mr. Honduras as well. Yeah, well, having the last day in, uh, in Mr. War while we were in the Philippines in Manila. The last day I was talking with him and he told me, you know what? I work as an actor. And I told him, I want to be an actor. Where do you live? And he told me, I'm, I'm living in Los Angeles. And I said, no way. That's the place I always dreamed of. So yeah. brother, sign it because in six months I'll be with you. <laughs> in six <laughs> months I tried to save more money than I could. And I just went to Los Angeles to visit him and try to go around to see the industry, how it works. So um, tell me what else you've been up to since Mr. World. After coming back, the, the first thing that I had to do and to finish, uh, it was the graduation. So I had to finish my university last exam. Hey, and... congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah, it was hard. <laughs> it's here. Let me show you. Show us. This is the graduation. For the viewers. <sighs> <laughs> hey. I just took it to the wall. And it was one thing that I had to finish, like I had this thing right in my mind for all the Mr. World uh, competition during the 15 days we were there. I had this thing to finish. And uh, once I came back, even if I had all the plans, you know, you were pumped up because uh, of the competition, you wanted to do so many things, Mm. you want to create content, but I had to finish the university first. So that must've been quite a stress while you were trying to compete, trying to, manage your workload for university as well so that's pretty it's quite a tough <laughs> yeah i mean university the university that i chose was not that hard but it's in the field that i want to um that i want to progress in for example communication i studied communication sciences and foreign languages so that helped me actually trying to understand some things to go on with my career wow okay so do you think then that um, it's kind of worked hand in hand with your content creation, your degree and Mr. World? I think communication is the key right now in 2020 to be successful. If you yeah. learn how to network with people, with the right people, and if you learn how to spread the message that you have, 
in the right way, that's the key for success. Yeah. So I personally think that studying communication in the beginning wasn't a choice that I made because I wanted to to know the key. Yeah. But actually, right now, like seeing it from like connecting the points afterward, I see it as a as an opportunity because right now I know more about psychology. I know more about um, even the way you communicate with physiology, how uh, the people's brain works. So right now it helps, of course, with marketing and marketing is necessary for social media. Marco marketing. You are the Marco. You are marketing Marco. Oh, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a fragrance? Do you wear some, like, the, fragrance, the usual fragrance that you wear? My, my go-to is um, Creed. Oh, Creed? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You are that nerdy about fragrances? You are like, <laughs> it has the best, like, the, the, the most niche and best brand ever. It's like it, the Ferrari about fragrances. It smells good, right? And then Boss Bottled for... Um, for uh, the gym. Okay. I have I a mean, gym fragrance. Great, great choices. Yeah. yeah. I have I one. I don't even have I... a Creed because they're too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Hugo Boss Bottled is um, uh, a bit more affordable than Creed, but with Creed, I can, uh, every time you spray it, it's like it costs like three pounds. Ah, yeah. Every time. <laughs> but you feel, you feel confident, right, while you're wearing it. Yeah. It lasts for ages as well. Better. So what would you oh, yeah. say is your favorite fragrance? Let me take it. I have these two here. I have a lot of fragrances. Like right now, if you see three shelves. Yeah. One is for nighttime, daytime, and the rare ones. So the niche fragrances. I and you've got about ones. 20, there's about at least at least 10 fragrances per, per thing. Yeah, How do you around. choose which one? It's depending on the mood of the day and really yeah. it depends on the situation like daytime fragrances like the fresh ones i normally wear while i'm like having like going to work or maybe during daytime while going having a walk but yeah. for nighttime the strongest ones are for nighttime so you don't want to uh, overwhelm people with your fragrance during daytime uh, i would prefer wearing like oriental and sweet and strong fragrances during nighttime while everybody oh. wears fragrances Oh, okay. These are my two favorite ones right now. This and is an Italian they? brand, Montale. And this is a really cool, this is like um, Mona Lisa of the fragrances. It's not even expensive, but it's really rare. It smells mm. like the desert. Yeah, the Mona Lisa of fragrances. <laughs> I love that as a cool analogy. And, um, and so just to finish off then, um, yeah. What would you say is the uh, the major tip that you would give to viewers if they are also trying to go down a similar route, whether it's modeling and content creation? So the one thing, the one key that I would suggest to people is to really hustle. Uh, like right now, if, even if it's brutal to, to say while you're young, your time doesn't worth that much. So don't be afraid of wasting your time because your time doesn't worth that much try to hustle and push on everything you're doing and that's it don't post one instagram post post 100,000 instagram posts and do it like for 10 different social platforms because right now is the time of social media so that's the opportunity yeah so you think that everybody should have um, a voice on social media if you have a message to spread and if yeah. you want to become uh, relevant even with yeah. your business, you should. Oh, and guys, guys, trust me, download and use TikTok. Right now is the moment for TikTok. Believe me on that. Yeah, excellent. Okay. And um, for those viewers, could you also, um, how can they subscribe to watch your channels? My name is Marco Delia. So it's an Italian name. It's not that easy to write down, I know. But if you look with Mr. War Italy or Marco Delia, my name, everywhere you can find me. My Instagram is Marco Delia 97 which is the date, the year I was born in. Okay. And my YouTube channel is Marco Delia everywhere I'm Marco Delia, so I try to use it at my brand. And you subscribe poster in the background. <laughs> this is a blackboard that I made. Oh, is it a blackboard? It, but it works. Yeah, it's a blackboard. I bought it in IKEA.
Excellent, mate. Well, it was so good to catch up with you. We got um, a lot of tips and some suggestions on fragrances. And do not forget to follow you on TikTok, of course. I wish you the very best, you and your family, for self-isolation. Thank you, brother. Stay safe as well. Take it easy.